What's going on YouTube? This is your boy The Vintage, back at it with another video, man. Today, today, we're gonna talk about the top 10. It's not even the top 10, because all these shoes is trash. We're gonna talk about 10 of the worst colorways, worst sneakers to release in 2018. But before we get into that, you already know what I need y'all to do. Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell for your boy, and smash that thumbs up. Let's get the video up to 100 likes, man. So y'all go ahead and do that for your boy. And follow me over on Instagram at Deventus World, which is a part of the giveaway rules, which me and Jumping Man Chris will be giving away the Air Jordan 1 Rookie of the Years. So all that being said, we're going to jump right into the video, man. Let's get it. All right, so the first shoe, straight off the bat, straight off rip, man. We got the, what are these called? The Balenciaga Triple S's. Uh, and regardless of what colorway that I've seen of this shoe, it's just, it's just ugly. It's ugly. So this is more of the ugly side of things rather than worst uh, because it, it's kind of the trend right now, that big dad bulky shoe. And I feel like Balenciaga, if I'm not mistaken, we've seen all the rappers rocking the Balenciaga Triple S's, the big bulky shoes, and everybody kind of adapted to that wave. So y'all let me know what other shoe y'all feel like helped adapt that dad shoe, that dad bulky shoe in the comment section below. We'll get right to the next one. All right, the next shoe we have is the Air Jordan Mellow uh, 1.5 SE. Team Orange, and oh my god, like, wow, this, this is trash, bro. Go ahead and look at the shoe. I was not feeling this colorway at all. It's like one of those shoes you be scrolling on Kicks on Fire, and you just go right past it without even giving it a second thought, a second opinion. You don't care if it's selling for $50. Like, looking at this shoe, I wouldn't even buy this shoe for $50. I wouldn't even wear this shoe. That's how bad it look. Uh, keep those on the court. I wouldn't even wear this on court, because if you're playing basketball, you got to look good to play good. And these shoes right here are trash. That's probably why Melo is out of the league right now. Hey, no shots fired. But let's get into the next sneaker. All right, next we have the Adidas Times AW Turnout B-Ball Cloud White. The name of the shoe town trash. And just look at the shoe wherever I put it. Y'all check this one out. It is all my... Like, looking at some of these shoes, you cannot believe they released. And I don't know what some of the uh, creators was thinking about the shoe. They're going to do good or... The only way some shoes like this is going to sell out. Is they got like a one out of ten, and I I've even seen shoes that's uh, numbered uh, sick. I seen them be trash, just like the wing ones. People was not feeling the wing ones, regardless of the number on it, regardless of how uh, exclusive it was. They wasn't feeling it. But me, I copped it. But these right here, I would not wear these shoes. This is one of the shoes that you walk by, you think they like your shoes. Them things just trash, bro. So y'all check these out. Let me know how y'all feeling them. I know y'all probably thinking this is probably one of the worst shoes of 2018 as well. So we're going to get right into the next sneaker. All right, next, this is going, I'll probably get a lot of backlash in the comment section below about this one. But this one is the Jordan Legacy 312. Regardless of which color got the Pistons. They had a couple of other colorways, the 312s. But just trash, man. Just Y'all got to keep it 100. Keep it a buck. This shoe was trash. Uh, didn't even think twice about copping the shoe. You know, sometimes you get those Jordans that kind of look like they should be in the collector's uh, collection. But this one right here, man, I was like, I'm good on that. And I think it was going for like two, what are they going for? They're going for 150, so it's not bad. But still just like pretty much a waste of money because I would never wear this shoe on the court, uh, walking to the mall, walking to walk my dog. They, they trash, bro. They trash. So y'all let me know if y'all cop. No, <laughs> like I said, don't be offended if y'all cop them. But this is just on my list of the worst shoes. I told y'all I was going to drop this video, and here we go. All right, next we have the Air Jordan 11 Platinum Tents. This shoe right here. Fuck Air Jordan 11s up. It, it fucked the Air Jordan 11 name up, man. You got, like, some colorways that is not OGs that they just kind of give us as uh, sneakerheads, and they do good. But you get this Platinum Tent, and I said from the get-go that I did not like this shoe. I said it back in... June, I believe. Y'all gotta check out that video. They they trash, man. Like the colorway, it looked like some like a, a dust collector. And I think the material even is that material as well, to where it just collect dust, like a sandpaper or something. What? That's what it looked like, man. But I wasn't feeling it. One of the worst Air Jordans to release this year. And Jordan Red did it to itself. They try to throw some more colors at us. They try to give us something new. We wasn't feeling it. We are rejecting that shoe a hundred percent. I think they're going for like one hundred and thirty dollars. My boy, uh, I'm not going to say his name, but he got him for like uh, under $100. So it's crazy. They could have kept this Air Jordan 11. They could have kept the colorway at least. And uh, yeah, let me know how y'all feel about this. Wearing it on an everyday basis, eh, that's a pass for me. All right, next we have a shoe that I actually like, the model. Uh, this colorway is, is, is dope as well to me. And you have the Adidas Yeezy 500 Utility Blacks. I know a lot of people 
is uh probably not feeling this shoe. They probably feel like it's, they shouldn't have released or Adidas or Yeezy shouldn't have released this 500. But we kind of needed it as uh, the culture and the sneaker game is moving like forward. They want to progress what we wear. And this one right here, uh, it, it's dope. I love the 500. But I know a lot of people that would be like, the 500 is trash. Why do you want the 500s? Because almost every one of my videos, uh, when I talk about Yeezys, I say I want to add a pair of 500s and a pair of 700s. And uh, yeah, I always get in the comments. I always get in the DMs like, why you want the 500s? Is it something I'm missing? But it's really not. It's just something that you want to get because you see the sneaker game, you see what we're going to. We're progressing to the dad shoe. So um, that's that's why I want to cop, man. I want to swag it out, show you how I rock it, just like that. But I know this is on a lot of people's top 10 worst sneaker list, so I had to throw it in there to get some of y'all thoughts on how y'all felt about it. So let's get into the next one. All right, next we have the Air Jordan 1 High Women's Premium Dip Toe Gym Reds. All the dip toe women line was fucking garbage. It was garbage. Like, no lie. Like, I was not feeling it, not even a little bit. You know, some shoes, uh, us men, we want to go get the, the women's, the GS sizes. But I, I know a lot of my subscribers was not feeling them. Uh, I know I got a couple of female subscribers. So y'all let me know how y'all felt about them as well. But those are, they, they mm, I just got to give them the thumbs up, man. I'm not going to bash on them too hard. But this is on my top 10 worst sneakers of 2018. Y'all notice I ain't giving it a number because all of them is honestly trash to me. All right, next we have the Nike women's. A lot of women's shoes, but it don't matter if it's women or GS because us men, we do go down to those sizes, get those extended sizes to cop and put in our collection. Uh, you got the Vandal 2K Particle Beige. It's like an Air Force One, but with like three layers of Air Force Ones. Y'all check it out. It's, it's fucking ridiculous. I, I don't see... <laughs> I see, I, I, this is why I don't like these videos. I know it's going to bring like controversy, like hate towards me, but I'm just keeping it 100, man. These is doo doo. They doo doo, man. I would never buy my daughter, my mama, my sister, my, my wife. I would never buy none of them this shoe because it's trash, man. Just look at it. Y'all let me know how y'all feel with my female subscribers, my men's subscribers as well. Let me know if y'all feel like this is desirable to be on the top 10 worst shoes of 2018 because I definitely do. All right, another shoe that's kind of like why Jordan brand but I know we know why the Tinker and what Tinker did for this shoe and it is the Air Jordan 13 black cat bread and I, I don't know why I seen a earlier view on Unbreakable's page and I was just like 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 why did they even make this shoe why did they why did they even draw this up I'm glad we got the regular the, the, or the 13 that we got now instead of this because this would not do good at all y'all like it's just trash it looked like one of those trainers that they are starting to make now in Jordan brand and they threw it on a, a bread 13. And, it, and this doesn't look good at all. I feel like this was highly deservable of the top 10 worst sneakers. All right, the next shoe we have is the Pharrell Adidas Crazy B U I W and Gratitude Empathy. Ah, y'all wouldn't even believe the retail on these guys. This, the retail for these is 250 I don't care, $250. I don't care how many, I don't care how exclusive they are. I don't care how many people don't got them. I'm not spending 250 on this shoe like a clown shoe. Like they made this just for the clowns. Like just trash, bro. And they retail it for 250. I know it's a collab with somebody, but oh my god, like why? Why even do that to people? Why even? Why? Cause you know some people with some hype beasts and they're like, oh, these are limited. Oh, this is a collab with this person. I'm gonna go get it for 250 dollars, and, and and I'm gonna be cool. But this one is hot garbage it deserves to be on this top 10 worst stinker list so y'all let me know how i feel about this clown shoe in the comment section below did you cop i know some of y'all might have caught all right the next or the last shoe that i have to throw on the list is the fear of god and nike collaboration I, I had to throw this in on here because this is my thoughts on this shoe yes it's fear of god it's fire because it's fear of god right but if this shoe did not have fear of god on it i'm gonna keep it 100 right now nobody would even pick this shoe up. Like, that is 100% honest. Y'all let me know if I'm lying in the comment section below. If this did not have Fear of God on it, a lot of people that copped it and was like, oh, I love this shoe, I love uh, what Nike is doing, are the same people that if it didn't have Fear of God on it, would be like, this shoe is completely trash. I didn't even go after it because I don't like the shoe. Um, it, it just, it's just doing too much. And I feel like I would have been those, one of those people to be like, if it didn't have Fear of God on it, would I still cop? No, definitely no. And uh, that's why I feel like this one should be on the worst sneakers of 2018. I know I'm going to get a lot, a lot of hate about that one right there. 
but I'm keeping it 100. I'm keeping it 100, man. Just with a lot of these shoes that have been releasing lately, they didn't have like Balenciaga on them triple S's because they got like Skechers the same way. You wouldn't cop the Skechers that look just like that. You know what I'm saying? That, that's where I'm coming from with that one. And that's why I feel like these Spirit Gods is on the list. I know they came with like the whole little package in, the suede is nice and all that. But if it just said Nike and it had those straps and the strings looking like moon boots and stuff, you will not cop. All right, that is it for the top 10 worst sneakers of 2018. Y'all let me know any of your rebuttals. Let me know any other shoes y'all feel like should be on the list uh, for the worst of 2018. Smash that thumbs up. Let's get the video to 100 likes if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe right now if you haven't subscribed already and you, and you like the video. Comment, like I said, let me know what shoes is trash, what shoes you feel like should be on there, and what shoes shouldn't be on there. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell for your boy. Follow me at The Ventures World, which is a part of the giveaway rules of the Rookie of the Year ones. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next video, man. Peace.